Up next, you guys, psychic Matt Frazier is here in the studio. He's going to give us a look into our future. Oh, boy. I can't wait. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? <laughs> when are we going shopping? Shopping? I wouldn't even know what to get. No, you come with me. I got to tell you, Dad, I, I just don't think that that's for me. You got to carry on the Scottish culture. You're still half. I'm not half Scottish. I'm 49%. That was the most math Matthew has ever done in his <laughs> entire life. I came out of the womb red, white, and green. I just don't know anything different. I only know Italian food, Italian people, Italian swears. That's it. I love him. He's been here for two seconds. He's already making me cry. <laughs> Please welcome from Meet the Frasers, Matt Frazier to the show. Yeah. Thank you. It's great to be here. So you have this psychic ability, and in the yeah. break, right before we came on, like literally two seconds before we came on live, he goes, by the way, your grandmother's here, and you're a baby girl, and she's here for you. And I'm like, what? Say what? She is really strong around you. And you know, she, this was a woman who had suffered here in the physical world before mm -hmm. she had passed, because she tells me that she couldn't breathe before her departure. And it was really hard for you to get back and say goodbye to her. But she says that you did that, and she just wants to thank you for that. Is that true? Yeah, I, well, I remember being there the night she died, and I was putting like a wet washcloth on she her. She said you made her look so beautiful. She was telling me that you were like massaging her hands and putting lotion on her and things. Okay. All she right. knows all about it. Oh, oh wow. my God. Oh. Well, yeah, that happened when I was really young. And there's also like Anne or Anna that I'm connecting with as well. And Anna? Yeah. So I don't know if that was her friend or like some that she would have been close to, but know that they're together on the other side because they actually um, get back in touch with friends that had passed yeah. and people who had departed. Oh, that's so oh, awesome. Nice. Is there like social media in the afterlife? Like people are like <laughs> pinging one another? Do you get me in right? this cloud right now. Yeah. <laughs> How did you know that you had this? And was it scary when Crazy. you first realized it? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, I never really grew up knowing that I was psychic. I knew that I could see and hear dead people, but I didn't know that it was an ability. I yeah. literally went to bed screaming and crying at night because I was afraid. I mean, the minute that I went to bed or I was alone in the room or I was by myself, it was like... The all, sixth sense. Yeah, it was like a conga line full of dead people in my room trying to talk to me. I felt like I was channeling every cemetery in the nearby area of all of these souls that wanted to speak to me. Oh, so I grew up afraid of it, and I actually missed my calling a little bit. I started my career as an EMT, working for the World Trade Center in Boston, because I always wanted to do something with helping people. Oh, my God. And it wasn't until later on in life they actually realized, oh, my God, this isn't a curse. It's actually a blessing. It's an ability, and I can use it. Is and somebody else in here? Oh, there's a ton of people. I mean, no matter where I go, I'm sensing and feeling things. Even when I was, you know, before I came into this room, I was given little readings out of people who had died. That's oh, crazy. Wow. So is it hard oh, to read that. yourself? Can you connect with people to, like, ask a th quick things about yourself? Like, did you know this e-show was coming? I did. You did? I did. I did. <laughs> My grandmother told me years ago, you know, you're going to be on TV, you're going to have, have a show, and that you need to be doing this work. And, you know, my, my grandmother had passed, obviously. So she guides me, but you got to know it's not every day. You know, my grandmother's not coming to me telling me what lottery numbers to pick. Right. Or, like, telling me, you know, um, I, I don't know, what stocks to invest in and whatnot. You can't cheat life with this ability. But she comes in just like, you know, time and time again when I need a little bit of guidance or support, you know, to let me know that she's there and with me. Just yeah. the same way that you, your loved ones connect with you. You know, I'm, I'm no different than anybody else. I feel everybody has a way to connect with their loved ones. Is there ever, like, a specific time, though, that people come to you? Like, if, if you connect with one soul, do they come to you at that same time, usually? And if you, like, no, it's just whatever. <laughs> no, it's morning, day, and night, right? So they, so anytime that souls have a message, there has to be a message there. Like, your grandmother was here, you know, when I was connecting, because she's so proud of you when she's here with you. But what happens is, is that anytime that there's a message or that there's something that's going on in our life, they do pop in to let us know that they're there and watching over us. Oh, wow. How do you date somebody knowing that you have psychic abilities? Was like, that hard for your girlfriend right? at first? Yeah, she ran out of the restaurant. You know, she, <laughs> she when I was there at the restaurant with her on our first date, we went to Coffee Connection in Providence, and uh, she was like, oh, do you see anybody, you know, with me? And, you know, I, anytime anyone asks that, I just unleash the beast. So, of course, yeah. I'm like, yeah, you know, she had her grandmother and people behind her, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, she left the restaurant. <laughs> I, I didn't think she was coming back in. Oh, my God. But oh somehow God. she did. Oh, my God. Is oh it hard God. to kind of shut that off, though? Sometimes it never goes away. Right. It is hard, but I, I, as you'll see on my show, I do try to live a normal life. At this point in my life, I'm not afraid of dead people. I'm just afraid of my family. They're the ones yeah. who haunt me every day. <laughs> you know, it's really sad when dead people are more quieter than my own family members. Right. Oh, that's oh my crazy. God. Oh, my God. What can you tell me about me? I want to know something. Yeah, you get what, are the, you what else is coming through? Anything? for anybody in the studio. Oh, boy. So there's a lot of... I just felt suicide right here. So who's a part of the suicide? Aww. Who is that to you? My cousin. So know that he's stepping Cousins. forward as well. Because when I'm here, like, they, I start seeing them all. 
Can we pull her on? Is that okay? Yeah, come right on. I'm sorry to do this. No, no this is spot. live TV. This is Allie. Hi. She's our fourth Allie. member. Oh, right my God, he I'm was, He was standing right behind you, and he was just saying to me, like, can, I just have to apologize. I have to apologize. He actually tells me there was tattoos that were done in memory of him, so someone's got a tattoo. I, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. In the family. Oh, yeah. So, no, that one of the things is that he's just acknowledging. I know that you're nervous to be on TV right now because you're normally behind the scenes. Yep. But he says to me that when he was here that he was dealing with a lot of emotional issues here in the physical yeah. world. So he actually shows me, like, antidepressants and medications that he was on. Yeah. Because he says, I fought this so Ooh. hard. He goes, I just tried to be normal. Do you understand that? Yeah. But he also tells me he didn't take his medications the way that he should have. Oh. And his yeah. family was trying to get him support because they were bringing him to different doctors and to different people. He says, and my family feels like these doctors failed me. He says, but really, he goes, I didn't do what I was supposed to. Ooh. Oh. So know that he's just acknowledging that. There was also like a poem that was done in memory of him as well, or like writings that were done that he wants to thank, uh, thank his family for in the beautiful way that they laid him to rest. And he's been trying to reach everybody in dreams. <gasps> Oh, so okay. he's there. Oh, my God. Will you, you stay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, can you stay? One more second. Okay. Yes, we absolutely. have to go to commercial. Right. I love you, Allie. Thanks for coming on. I want to give her a hug. Can you give me a hug? You guys, sorry. we'll be right back with Matt Frazier after the break. This is, oh, my God. Oh, this is sweet. He's really Thank strong you. around us. <laughs> we are back with E-Star Psychic Matt Frazier. Yes. You did some amazing readings right before the break. I you, um, You said you were picking up my grandmother. I, I do have a question. So you see them, right? Yes. So do you see her as like I last saw her, or like is she older or is she like younger? That's like a, when they go that's a really to good the question. other side, what do they look like? So uh, when when I see them, it's differently. So I see like figures. That's how I see them. Oh, okay. So I saw her behind you, and then I kept hearing, "I'm the grandmother. I'm the grandmother," <laughs> and you know she was coming through. And, you know, the, the crazy part is, is that they know about the things that are going on in your life. Like, the reason why she's coming through is she knows that you're pregnant and that you're having a girl and that this is going to be such an amazing time in your oh. life. Mm. Did she tell you what I should name her? Because I'm really sure. No, no, and, and they <laughs> won't. And here's the reason why is that that's your decision to yeah. make yourself. You know, Girl, they help, help. us. Will you? She can't pick a name for you. Are you she kidding me? Ideas. Just throw some suggestions out. Listen, I wish. Listen, I failed school. I wish that somebody was there helping me. You know, with my with my math test yeah. and whatnot. The, the other side never gave me the answers for that, <laughs> and they don't give me the answers on how to deal with my family. Believe me, you'll see that I meet the Frasers. And oh it's so God. interesting because your mom has this ability. Your sister does or does no, not? No, she was no. forgotten. She was forgotten. Thank you. My <laughs> sister was like that that child. My sister can't even talk to the living. Never mind the dead. <laughs> she was like she was like that soul on Harry Potter. That, that person on Harry Potter who was like the muggle who like didn't know anything. So. We didn't need. Is there somebody coming in for us? Not that I'm sensing right now, because they have to have a message that's there. You don't have to give Why is no died. one giving us a message? Because no. you have to have somebody that had died, like you know, somebody that's very close. No. Can I someone tell Margaret why she's not getting her guy no yeah. it's all <laughs> so oh, you, just, God. you see them in terms of like 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 they just basically sort of the, the departed like observe our life and kind of come in when they want to like help with things. Exactly. They're not just gonna like your grandma's not gonna come through just to talk about a couch she had. Mm -hmm. You know, she's not gonna come through and just say hello to say hello. There's gotta be a message that's there. Like when I was talking about the, the boy who had passed of suicide, you know, the way that it works is that they only come through if there's a message that's there. Yeah. And that's what's so important. That's is there anyone else in the studio right now. Any oh my God, there's a ton. You're picking up. Well, what's, one, what's the strongest right now? Well, the strongest is, is that, that soul that passed of suicide. Like, he's still here communicating with me. And they all know that they can speak to me. So they all pull me in a million different directions. Aww. You know, to speak and communicate. Oh my God! And how do you know who to pick? Like, how do you know? Because they, they stand behind you, and that's what I love about my live events is that when I do my shows and I do my events, is that you'll never see me standing up on stage and being like, "Oh, I have a J name or whatever." That's not me. I will go up to you and say, "Your son passed. He's standing right here." Yeah. You know, your mom died. She's right next to you because yeah. that's how I see them. Yeah. And people love that, you know, about my events and my shows because it's just so different, you know. And I think that that's much more validating. Yeah. And we're I seeing agree. the shows on this new. E show, we get to experience everything. What was the strongest thing that you filmed this season? Or one of the most remarkable readings that you gave? So, one of the most remarkable readings had to be for Luciera, who is a uh, famous walking coach. She uh, works for the Miss Universe organization and she came in to help Alexa because Alexa's 
competing in the pageant this year for Miss Rhode Island uh, USA. Mm -hmm. So she came in, and as she was walking with Alexa, all of a sudden her grandmother was there. And oh. this is a woman who doesn't cry. You know, she's like stone. And she just broke down hearing the messages that her grandmother had for her. Oh, grandmas are powerful. Grandmas get you, you know? They, they get are you. here, yeah. Oh my God, I can't wait to watch the show. Thank you so much Thank for you joining so us. Much. Thank you, so Thank you, you for guys, having me here. Meet the Frasers. It airs Monday nights at 10 right here on E! Welcome to the family. Thank right. you. It's great to be here. here. Cheers. Cheers. All right, Cheers. coming up, a Japanese billionaire is looking for a female life partner to go to the moon with him. You want to do it? Give me a wee, Are you Available. <laughs> Grab me a wee from America. What a way.